Hey guys, so it is our eighth anniversary. It is after midnight on the 16th. Uh, we probably had just turned into bed after a long day of the dress rehearsal, not dress rehearsals, what are they called? The reception? No, the day before. It's not dress rehearsal, that's in theater. Like the rehearsal dinner. Yes, there you go. Yeah. yeah, we did the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner. And uh, we did that right the night before though? Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. then we went out mini golfing with all our friends. And uh I came home and couldn't find pillows and had a major freak out because tomorrow is a big day and I needed to sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's eight years, wow. Time flies. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing what we've gone through and been through in eight years. And we're still together. Yay. And hopefully, like, the trials of the eight years that we've been together are, like, the worst of our marriage. Because that means we'll be able to survive anything, you know? Mm, that's very true. Yeah. Just real quick about what we're doing here. Um, this is actually the recreation of our anniversary cake from our original wedding cake. Um, we kind of have a tradition of getting it every year from the same place that we got our cake and we got it from um, a place called Shady Maple, which is amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a combination farmer's market, but what they're really known for is their smorgasbord, which is just a big giant buffet that... We'll have to take you guys there someday. Has a lot of good food on. We were actually there for Kendra's birthday. I know, and I didn't you get, film. You get free. You get a free meal with your with your birthday. With, you just have to your prove birthday. it's your birthday. So the reason that we um, have kind of made this a tradition, an annual tradition, is because when our first anniversary came around, um, <laughs> you know, the tradition is that you know uh, people. I don't know who is responsible for it, but they're supposed to take your top tier of your wedding cake and wrap it all nicely and then put it in the freezer for the year. Well, whoever did it, I don't even know who did it, but whoever did do it, they just basically took our cake and put it in a box and put it in the freezer for a year. So when it came to our first anniversary, where I was excited to do the whole traditional, oh, let's eat a piece of our wedding cake. And Kendra's like, that wasn't, you know, wrapped correctly. I'm not eating that. I was like, no, it'll be fine. So... We cut the cake and did pictures and everything, and then I took a well, Actually, I don't know if we did do pictures and everything. Nope, we didn't do anything. I sat so. on the couch going, I'm not eating that. So I, I took And a, he went, cut a nice big slice, put it on a piece of plate, came out. Yep, and I, I, took, I took a bite. And if I could describe what the color gray tastes like, <laughs> the, the cake tasted gray. It, it, it liquefied immediately and tasted gray. It was nasty so i was very disappointed very sad and threw it out so then kendra called up shady maple was like hey we had our wedding cake made by you guys last year could you recreate it for us and since then we've done it every year just because as a fun little we've done it on vacation we have done it on um while pregnant we're doing it after moving <laughs> So this, this has been a fun tradition, though. I, I, I enjoy year, it. Yeah, every year. It's always something different. The cake looks a little different. Um, like this year, it's little, it's white roses with like little blue blue tips. Um, sometimes it's blue roses. Sometimes it's white roses. Um, it's funny, this cake has the little, the scrolling has little dots around it, which I actually hated. And one of the pictures I found, but I liked the type of scrolling it was. And I told them specifically not to put the dots on. <laughs> I guess that didn't cross over to our eighth year cake because the dots are there. Um, which is fine. I, you know, you, it's, it makes for a cool memory. Yeah. Um, the other really nice thing is that the same lady that made our wedding cake eight years ago, she still works at Shady Maple. And she remembers us every single year. She remembers the kids. Well, she hasn't met Izzy yet because she's not always there each year. Like, she always helps make the cake each year because she knows, like, hey, here's the paperwork. You know, they keep it on file for us now, basically. Although, I think she said that they keep everything. But um, but it's just nice to see Miss Pat every year. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, the kids, you know, she gets to see the kids then, too. So, it's... Yeah. She's made other cakes for us. Like, she made our gender reveal cake for Wyatt. And she made his first birthday cake. His first birthday cake, yep. So, you know, we... 
we've enjoyed our shady maple cakes over the years and it's all because we really enjoyed and loved our wedding cake and um okay i guess now is the time to cut our cake ready whoa that does not cut that was sideways <laughs> It's okay. The whole thing just bent. It's for fun. Yeah. I Is it even in the middle? I, I don't, don't think, think I don't think we can cut it in the middle. That's okay. It'll all get eaten anyway. That's a big piece, but I'm very hungry. Alright. So with our original wedding cake. Ooh, we're gonna get it into it. That so, actually wasn't too bad. No, it's not too bad. So this is a white cake with a strawberry mousse and a buttercream frosting. Our original wedding cake had two layers of this and one layer that was um, red velvet swirl. Oh, you know what helps if I had a fork? Um, red velvet swirl with buttercream um, icing in the middle. Um, but over the years, we just we've really come to enjoy this this one. The, uh, the white with the strawberry mousse. It just, it tastes the best, I think. I don't like red velvet. I know you don't like red velvet. <laughs> he And he was so kind. He let me, like, well, he kind of liked the red velvet swirl because it wasn't all red velvet. Yeah. But you did request specifically that the top layer be the white with strawberry. Yeah, because I wanted to have that as our anniversary. Yeah, cake. no, I know. <laughs> and we have had years where we've done the red velvet swirl. But we don't enjoy it as much as the white with the strawberry mousse. So it's delicious. It is. It's, it's absolutely delicious. And it's just wonderful. And it looks just like our wedding cake. Yep. And if you see in the front of the cake here, we have our initials M and K and then S for Stankovich. And then... And M and K stands for Mike and Kendra, if you didn't know. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta clear this off a little bit. Mm. I don't know if it will zoom in on what it says, but it has our names and our wedding date on the cake cutter or on the cake server. And definitely don't cut yourself. I'm not gonna cut myself. Probably better if you use like a paper towel. Mm, that's really good. And then I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this one. And it says forever and always. That's something that Mike and I always used to say to each other. I don't think it, I think it's catching the, always been off of forever. That's a huge glare. And now we're, we're all out of focus. There it is. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, we used to have this whole thing that we would say to each other. I don't know if I remember it. Do you? Yeah, I don't want to do it on camera, though. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do it on camera. But that's going to be our, um, uh, no, 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 no. We'll keep it to ourselves. It's not anything bad. It's nothing bad. No, no, no. It's <laughs> nothing bad. It's just, it is a very sweet memory. And, it's it's and, cute. And, it's it's cutesy, cutesy and corny. And it's so corny. So corny. Two lovebirds. Two puppy love ridden children just going crazy over each other. Coming up with things that are just the stupidest things in the world to say to one another. To prove how much we loved each other. <laughs> So, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep that private for us. Okay. But, um, we always just end it with forever and always. So, we, were, we have that inscribed on our cake cutter that it will be forever and always. And every year, we use, um, our china set. Um, what I like about our china set is that it, it, it describes the time that we got married. Like, it's. The perfect style for the age in which we were married. <laughs> it's like modern, but chic, but traditional. Like it's a mix of, a, it's just, it's very sleek, but like not, it's not like contemporary. I don't know. I don't know. It's romantic. I think it's a romantic. Um, That's probably a good descriptor. It's called Platinum Wave and it's, um, it's, it's very romantic. I'm pretty sure you can still get this uh pattern in the store um but um we only got two place settings for our wedding and two silverware settings and at one point i did say i wanted to get 12 12 because 
I always plan for a big family. Um, and not like with kids, but just like in laws yeah. and sisters and brothers and nephews and cousins and aunts and uncles and like we just both of us have a decent sized family. So we would love to share, you know, holiday meals and, you know, special get togethers and use our special China to celebrate those events. So, but we only got two place settings. And because we were so broke and new at all this <laughs> as newlyweds, we never did ex- we never did finish buying out our China pieces. Yeah, it's probably discontinued by now. No, it's not discontinued. I think no. you can still get it, but um Yeah, we we um Oh, I'm sorry. I, like I said, it's after midnight, so I'm losing it. So, what I call this now is our sweetheart China, um, because it just has just the two, just perfect for the two of us, and just the two place settings, and just the two China so silverware settings. Um, and I figured one day maybe when we figure it out and we want to really do this right as adults and have fine China. In our house. <laughs> Maybe after the kids are gone. <laughs> then we only need the two settings. Um, kids aren't going to be gone anytime soon. I know. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah. I figured maybe we'll get like a new pattern that kind of represents where we are now in life. Because this, this is very... This pattern is very young. That's, that's the word. I'm, it's not a timeless piece. It's, it's more of like... They were young and and this is fun, but like still China y and like traditional. Just it just it just reminds me of this is something I would have picked in my twenties. Whereas now in my thirties, I'm kinda like, eh. I love it, but I, I wouldn't love it for my fancy China. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get a fork and enjoy this, um, and we are going to let you guys go, but just know that we are madly in love. We've been through some really hard times, and if you've seen some of our other videos, it will explain what we've been through, or what I've been through, and, you know, what Mike had to walk through with me, and um, just, we've come a long way in the last couple of years and the last couple of years were really trying we definitely took the in um sickness and in health part of our vows uh very seriously and it, it could have easily been a breaking point but it wasn't it, it was actually a bonding point yeah. for us so well that's all i wanted to say happy anniversary happy anniversary all right thanks guys have a great night